Um, uh, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> I, uh, I finally learned a little song on the mandolin. Let's see if I can actually do it. I did the wrong verse. Oh, let's try that again. I met a girl in a Tuscaloosa bar. She cleaned me out and hit it on the slide. I tried to kill the pain. I bought some wine and hopped a train. It's easier than just waiting around to die. I had a friend who said he knew where some money was. I did my best. That's uh, actually probably the first time that I played that all the way through. So, I, yeah. All right. Sometimes you just got to put yourself on the spot and be like, all right, well, there's a bunch of people watching me now, so I better fucking just do it. Um. So, yeah, obviously not perfect. That's like literally it's, it's hard. With the mandolin, you got to like really, really push down those strings when you're barring it like that. So, like. My thumb is not accustomed to that. Yeah, that's why I was fucking up a little bit. Also, the timing on that is really hard. Um, that's the thing about fucking Towns Van Zant's shit. Like, a lot of the chords are really simple, but, like, the picking and strumming style is, is kind of strange. Uh, anyway, welcome. Hi, how's it going? I'm drinking some coffee and I'm a couple bites of a breakfast sandwich left. Um, so, um, hold on a sec. I'm gonna pack a bowl. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus Mendoza says, You're good at it. Oh, thanks. This is actually not my mandolin. I left my mandolin back at the library because um, I didn't want to, I, I didn't know that I was gonna be like out, out. I just, you know, whatever. So I packed really light. I didn't pack a lot of my stuff that I normally would carry. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm missing my, my own mandolin, but while I'm here, I have this one to play. So that's nice. And then when I do get back to my 
my own mandolin, then I'll actually be able to play it a little better. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just gonna smoke a coffee cup bowl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good times. Hey, uh, conspiracy theory or er, conspiracy theorist says that she likes my coffee cup. This is actually not mine, this is my host. Um, so a big shout out to, I don't know if she's watching, she might be watching in the other room right now. Uh, Love Light D has been hosting me for the last few weeks, and that has allowed me to finish my finale episode of the King Ratchet series. You heard me right, it's done. I'm actually, oh here, maybe I'll show you. Or right, plug. I'm looking at it right now, look at this. I'm finalizing it, um, right now, and this is actually the third time that I've had to render it, uh, because, well, I think I've talked about this on the channel before, and I, I know that most people aren't actually really interested in the technical side of what I do, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, because fuck you, um, and so, my computer is, like, just barely capable of um of handling the processor processing that it needs to be able to do um so when i'm editing what happens is that um i can't really see what i'm editing it's like really choppy and uh you know whatever and there's, there's always like other stuff because i edit with the headphones on but then i I preview it with the speakers so I can hear what other people would be hearing because I assume most people aren't watching my videos with headphones on. If you are, God bless you. Because um, that's, that's definitely better to do it that way. But most people aren't. They're watching it on their fucking TV or whatever. Um, so, the sound and the actual, the actual, like, cuts and stuff, I have to render it and then watch it in my... Good. media player excuse me um and then like i gotta have my eyes glued on the whole time even though i've spent the last like week and a half with my eyes glued to the the screen processing or you know the screen editing it and and putting things where it needs to go and it's <laughs> but finally for the first time i get to see it like smooth and not all like glitchy and janky like it is when i'm editing it um, and then almost every time I'll see something that isn't really good and that needs to get fixed. Like, I, I just don't want to keep it in there. Um, or like sometimes there's a cut that's like too long and unnecessary. So then I'll take that out and, um, yeah, adjust the sound and stuff. So then I did that and then I actually finalized it and uploaded it. Totally to YouTube. That's that's what's up right now, and I got a copyright claim, <laughs> so it's demonetized. So then, um, and you know what's funny is whenever I, I always use royalty free stuff. I do prefer to use stuff that's sent to me by supporters, friends, and fans. So if you've got music you'd like to send me for my next videos, please do that. CorneliusVango at gmail.com. Send me your shit. I don't care if it's like weird. Or whatever if I can use it I will um, I featured uh, a song by a nine-year-old so you, you, I'm you're fine and it's really good like mm, nothing to say about the musicianship of nine-year-olds I'm just saying like I don't care who you are like if your music's good your music's good um so yeah I got a copyright claim funniest thing about that is whenever I get a copyright claim on what I thought was royalty free music it's always the absolute weakest track of the soundtrack. And this time was no exception. Um, I'm like, oh God, I sure hope that it's not the fin final, like the ending credit song, because like that song's beautiful and I've had it stuck in my head for like the last two days. 
I really hope it's not that one, but if it is, you know, we'll fucking find something else that's hopefully some somewhere in the ballpark of as stirring and beautiful as this song. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It was the first song, which like literally I just had as kind of a backbeat over what was happening in the beginning. And it's like super not important. And it, it was almost like that song was barely good enough to go on the soundtrack. I was like, oh, whatever, there's going to be talking over it. Nobody will notice. It just provides a nice backbeat, <laughs> uh, you know. So fortunately, it was that song, the one that I didn't really care about. So I, I wiped it out and I replaced it with some good old Scott Baxendale, which, you know what? It's better anyway, because, yeah, fuck that fake royalty free bullshit and their weak ass fucking beats. Scott Baxendale all the way, buddy. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So I'm... Um, I did that. I actually went through and adjusted the sound a little bit more, so hopefully it's good. Because sometimes there's just quiet parts because I don't have the greatest fucking equipment. Um, but, yeah, I equalize the sound. And now it's rendering again, and then I'm going to have to upload it all over again. And, um, yeah, so the premiere is on Friday. Unless, well, you know what? I already set it for Friday. That's three days from now. Y'all can sit tight until then. And it's it's gonna be so good, folks. Like I'm I'm really proud of the series. And yeah, maybe I don't know. Whatever. It's awesome. It's really good. And I hope that you'll be there to see it. And um if you haven't watched the the rest of the series yet, or if you're not caught up, there's so far five parts to the series. And um most of them are 45 minutes. The last one I put out was about an hour. So they're like, they're like proper documentary kind of length videos. And, and I didn't try to fill time either. I tried to take out a lot of time. So it's more like attention holding. Cause I don't know about you, but I got a short fucking attention span. I don't have time or I don't have the patience to sit and like watch somebody do something after I already understand what they're doing. So I tried to trim the fat as it were and get better about my pacing and yeah I'm really happy with this one I wish I could show you right now it's so good I've literally been like in it for <laughs> yeah for the last like week and a half two weeks now holy shit um so I'm in St. Petersburg which is near Tampa and I've been doing the food not bombs three days a week and then the rest of the week I've been working on my video pretty much <clears throat> fucking tail face dude is excited by how pumped I am no you should be excited dude this is a good fucking video I made this well I made this series for me first and foremost but Y'all should be fucking excited about this, because it's great. It's awesome. Catch up with the other ones or rewatch them. I don't give a fuck. Share them online, because... I don't know. Do it. Just do it. Share my videos. I want to be... I want to be a big rock star. Um... <laughs> yeah, and this... <laughs> it's good. It's good. I worked really hard on it, so... Anyway, oh yeah, I, I hung out with fucking Caliphus uh, a couple days ago. Um, dude lives a town south of St. Petersburg, actually. So that was fun. Um, yeah, he's been a, a mod in my Discord for a while now. And if you're into um, if you're into chat rooms and stuff, you should check out our Discord. Um, because it's a lot of fun. It's good stuff. There's a lot of nice people in there. Dude. Yeah. We got links. Click the link. One of us. Join our cult. Hot boy Orlando says you're in my old hometown. Rock on, dude. St. Pete is fucking cool, dude. It's like... I would definitely come back here again. It's, um... It's just really got a, a bohemian sort of feel to it. There's a lot of art, a lot of street art, like 
you know, um, like mural installations. And there's tons of kava bars and they serve kratom too. So since I'm not drinking, I've been able to still go out sometimes and like, you know, get a little bar scene. It's pretty chill. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, Will is posting, hey Will, thanks for joining us. I know you're probably working right now. Uh, Will's posting a link to the PayPal. So I'm not gonna lie, folks. I, I spent like uh, all my money getting down here and then having gas to go out to downtown Tampa three times a week and help feed folks. Um, definitely not complaining, but if you want to donate, uh, I could really fucking use it, especially since I'm about to, um, I'm about to actually head out probably after this weekend and head west ish. It, I, I really did want to go and see New Orleans while I was out in this little corner of the U S and right now it's cold as shit. I've been following the weather and it's cold as shit here too. I mean, cold as shit for Florida. Um, but it's it's raining right now. It's like 40 degrees and it's been like that for the last few days. So I'm I'm not in a hurry to be uh out in it again right now while while I have the generous offer of being able to sit inside of this warm spare room. <laughs> this is way better than sitting out in the rain or like being in my car or huddled up in a shitty diner somewhere, you know. Way better. <laughs> and I got a shower too and like bathroom to use and Satan's got a whole ass bed. Look at this. Look at this pup. Huh, Satan. Yeah, you're so cute. Yeah, I don't actually sleep in the bed at all. Uh, that's just been Satan's spot. I've been sleeping on the couch. I can't I can't really sleep in beds. They're too soft and they fuck up my back. The couch is kind of fucking up my back too. I would sleep on the floor, but I saw a very big hissing cockroach skeleton on the floor while I was sweeping. And, of course, that's just kind of a thing that is ever-present in Florida, no matter how clean your house is. So, I'm not throwing any shade or anything. I'm just saying, I want, like, a little bit of space between where the roaches might hang out and where I'm sleeping. So, I'm just been sleeping up on the couch. <laughs> I haven't seen any bugs in here, though. I have seen a couple of lizards. Ah. <sighs> I have a tiny roommate. I named them Jeffrey with one F. They're a great roommate. Uh, Cape Cod Metal is saying if you get a chance, you should check out the Holocaust Museum. I saw that. I passed by that. And also there's a Salvador Dali art museum that I was like super stoked and was like I'm gonna go to that I don't care what the price is and then I saw the price and I was like I don't think I can go to the fucking Dolly museum um like I was just saying I don't want to harp on it too much but I'm literally like a fucking broke traveling person um the I'm not homeless anymore technically because I have an address that I created and it's still my valid address, so like on paper I'm all legit. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm broke and I'm traveling, and I can't really. I'm not in a fiscal position to be going anywhere that costs money recreationally. That's just the way it is. But if you'd like to help change that, you can donate directly to my PayPal would be best. Through Super Chat is okay, but YouTube takes a big cut. And they don't pay out until like next month. They do a one one time a month payout, and it's kind of a drag. And they're really opaque; like they're not transparent about how much money actually comes in and what they take from it. Like I have no fucking clue. I just have to trust them, which I don't. So. It's, yeah, it's kind of a fucking drag. 
Satan. <laughs> Thanks, Cape Cod Metal. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I wish. Maybe after society collapses, I'll be able to go and check out all those tourist spots that I could never afford, you know, when they're all abandoned and deserted and falling apart and shit. It'll be way cooler that way. I'll be the only one in them. We just gotta wait for the collapse of society, though, I guess. Then I can go to all the places that I couldn't afford. <coughs> wait till all the humans die off. been practicing as much as I thought I was going to be, but I have been practicing, actually, so I'm feeling pretty good. And I've gotten more used to using a pick now. I don't want to, I don't want to be like the kind of person that needs a pick, though, so I'm definitely going to keep practicing both ways, but as far as being on the street and busking, uh, the, the pick makes it so much louder and so much easier for people to hear what I'm playing. And then I can sing louder because I'm playing louder. And yeah, now I just got to fucking figure out a bunch of stupid covers. You guys, oh, oh, that's a good one. If you're watching this retroactively and you're not in the chat right now, you should leave a comment about a song that everybody fucking knows that is actually kind of based and is, uh, I don't know, that would sound cool if I did it. So, like, you know, I would do the cover of What's Going On, and then when you actually think about it and, like, hear the lyrics, it, you realize it's actually kind of punk rock. So, like, yeah, songs like that, like pop songs that actually have kind of punk rock lyrics that I could cover on guitar. Tell me which ones you want to hear me cover, and I will maybe cover them. And if you're here in chat right now, you can just tell me now. Because I need ideas. I was thinking about um, Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. That's a Rolling Stones song, right? I'm going to sound like an idiot if I'm not right. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, that kind of shit. Everybody knows that shit. But it's kind of a goth sort of, like, the lyrics are really goth. I love that I'm smoking a coffee cup. That's pretty fun. Oh yeah, I painted a new painting while I was here too. And it already sold, and I told the person that I would have it on, in the mail on Sunday, and I didn't, so I'm gonna have to make sure that gets in the mail today. I feel kind of bad. I wish that it was in here so I could show you, because it's pretty cool. I'm proud of it. <laughs> Wake me up when September ends. Oh, God. I don't think anybody actually knows any of that song except for that line, though. Kale says, Thursday after 5 p.m., it's only fourteen fifty, which is still... That's not bad. I can afford fourteen fifty, But I was seeing prices that looked like 40 bucks or whatever. <laughs> Colonel likes the mug. Hell yeah, dude. I was gonna try and come through and visit you when I come through Texas, but I don't know. I'm not making plans right now, and that feels pretty nice, so don't count on me to do anything. But that is, that's 
tentatively something that I want to do. I want to visit, <clears throat> maybe spend a little bit more time passing through certain areas and get to know some some places that I've only just driven through or haven't been. The Rhode Island Hiker says I would walk 500 miles. I actually do a cover of 500 miles. I haven't done it in forever. <laughs> but it's like, I never looked up the lyrics. I just make stupid shit up. When I go out, yeah, you know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the guy that's doing it with you. When I'm chilling, yeah, you know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the dude that's chilling you with you. And you gotta sing it like really stupid because they do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I only have so much um, attention span for that song though. Cause it, uh, I, I actually used to do that and just make up the. Make up the lyrics. Oh, hey, thank you. Jeanette L. Civic? Civic? I don't know. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Hell yeah. David T. says Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I actually do a Britney Spears cover. Um, wait. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I can't remember it. <clears throat> Baby, cause I need to know. Oh, just. Anyway, I remember. Uh, I don't remember how it goes exactly, but it's like four chords. It's super easy. <laughs> kind of funk, uh, folk punk sort of riffing. That's funny. Oh, hey, I love ideas in here. Hey, I'm in your house. I broke in. Nobody told me I could be here. Somebody call the police. <laughs> I was thinking, what was that one song? Let's see. What chords are...
anyway, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll just have to learn the lyrics of that. That'll go over well. People will be like, holy shit, that's Linkin Park. Uh, what is, uh, I used to do, how does that one go? This is how I show my love Made it in my mind because Blame it on the ADD, baby Maybe I should cry for help Maybe I should fuck myself Blame it on the ADD, baby Sail, sail, sail. Wait. Sail. See you later, Will. Sail. <laughs> oh, I guess I wasn't really trying to make this uh, uh, guitar practice live stream, but I guess that's what it's turning into. I guess that's what it's turning into. <clears throat> that's what happens when I drink a fuck ton of coffee. Blah. Imagine Dragons. I don't even think I could name a single song by Imagine Dragons. Goofball. Ava said I inherited a guitar from father. I know nothing. You just put it in your hands and like move your hands around until things make sense. That's about it. That's all there is to guitar. And you just keep doing it for so long that it makes like a lot of sense and then it, you know, it just like kind of clicks and then you play guitar suddenly. Hmm. I almost just went to take a drink of this cup while lighting it. And that's not how you operate this cup. <laughs> it's a, it's a very tricky cup. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. Well, since my well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lonely Street, to heartbreak hotel. Wait. Oh yeah. Well the well the bellhop's tears keep flowing and the desk clerk's dressed in black. They've been so long on the street that never go back and make it so make it so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely. I could die. Anyway, oh, Kale's asking about Ring of Fire. I don't know Ring of Fire because I can't, I can't listen to or sing that song while also being mature about it. I just can't because like when I hear that song, all I hear is like a man with an STD that he should probably get checked out because it's like he's got, if, if you got a ring on you that like is burning that's either a parasite or an std man like you you should get that checked out so yeah i can't i can't do burn i can't do ring of fire it's just yeah <laughs> i can change the lyrics and actually like describe a real medical issue and then people will be like oh my god it's johnny cash i love that song and then they'll hear 
the lyrics and be like, what the fuck? I didn't realize that this song was about an STD. <laughs> um, I do. Um... Oh, there we go. How do I do that? Rolling around the bend And I ain't seen sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom prison And time keeps dragging on But I can't, I can't do that song either Because I've heard too many Um I don't want to say Half-right musicians Because that's mean And it's not nice to say but I already said it, uh, I've heard too many, like, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be less mean and not say mean things about people. You know what I mean? You know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at here? People that have less, whoa, less experience, um, that they, they play that song a lot. Um, there's a few songs that kind of like trigger me in this way that people play that I fucking have heard like more times than I ever wanted to from like street musicians or performers that are friends. Um, and that's one of them, uh, Folsom Prison Blues, and I'm guilty of it. I've done it. That was literally the first song that I learned how to perform. And yeah, so that that's a thing. I have I have also done it. I'm not free of blame here um and then old number seven the fucking what is that isn't that a devil makes three is that devil makes three i don't know whatever or yeah i think that's okay anyway jack daniels old number seven i fucking hate that song i never want to hear it again in my whole fucking life and if you start playing it i will just leave i will completely just exit the entire scene i don't want to fucking hear Jack Dan, the old number seven song, it's, I hate it. I fucking hate it. Heard it too many times. It was fun the first three times I heard it. And then after that, it wasn't. Um, and then the other one that does it, it like, it literally triggers me. I hate it. Uh, it's Wagon Wheel. And I think that almost every actual traveler, uh, especially ones that play music, kind of is on the same page with Wagon Wheel. Like for me, I'm not going to rip my ears off my head, but I will leave. I will just leave. I can't. I'm not going to do Wagon Wheel. I fucking hate that song. Yup. What's the other one? There's... I think those are the only two that, like, really, really do that for me. <laughs> Evil Weevil says I have the same reaction to Wagon Wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, uh, anyway. God damn it. Okay, I'm done being mean. I'm not gonna talk shit on things anymore. If you like those songs, then don't, like, feel bad. You're not a bad person for liking those songs. It's okay. You can like what you like. Ugh. I just think they suck, and I'm not... I'm not an authority on anything, so... Whatever. <laughs> You rock that wagon wheel if that's what makes you happy. I support you. <sighs> David T says, you can talk mean about me. Aw. Well, if it's consensual, then we're cool. I should write that Boomer Bob Says Get a Job song. That was pretty good. Oh, let's try. Let's try. I 
think I'm making this riff like go way too hard for Boomer Bob. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dial it back a little bit here. That's that's a fucking cool ass riff. to come up with something a little bit less fun a little bit more more accessible for boomer bob ah the things that happen in chat i'm i'm not seeing any trolls today maybe it's too early for trolls to be up right now kim Coulter davis says weather is cold in florida right now yeah it fucking is um here let me take you out i'll take you out and take a look Good shit. Whoa. Yeah, that's what we got going on here right now. Mm. It was pretty nice for a couple days, though. But, of course, you don't want to take nice weather for granted, especially in the dead of winter. Even in Florida. Whoa. Just let that settle. Okay. All right. Deborah says, I like that you're trying to be less mean. It's hard. Cause I'm a dick. I'm like a huge asshole and I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice and wholesome and not mean to people. And I've been biting, like literally biting my tongue a lot more often. Like, ah, ah, that's what's going on inside my mouth when people are talking to me most of the time. Ah. And then sometimes they'll just be like, mm, but then, you know, practice keeping the straight face and not actually saying anything. Mm-hmm. Kelly Sherman. <laughs> people, people will ask the darndest things. Did you go to Disney World while you're there? What the f- No. Disney World is like hundreds of dollars. I can't afford that shit. But if you'd like to help me to afford things, you can hit up my PayPal. Yeah. Donate. Donate or die. Oh, that would be cool for the... Donate or die. God will judge you when you get to hell. Give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ava Davis says, I stopped drinking to be nicer. Yeah, that does help for sure. Um, it definitely does, because I already have, like, zero filter. Like, you saw how hard I was working to not say something mean about people earlier. Um, I have, like, zero filter, and then, you know, of course, 
he got a couple drinks in me and I I just don't give a fuck. I barely can give a fuck already, so if I like give even a little bit of a fuck less, then I'm just I mean I'm not wrong, like I'm usually pretty pretty correct about my criticisms of people, but people don't really uh, they don't really need to hear it. <clears throat> and also it's like, you know, it, it's exhausting to listen to people griping about stuff or being annoyed about things. Like, of course things are going to be annoying, but you don't have to, like, you don't have to expound upon that. You don't have to, like, be, bring that energy to somebody else and, like, share it with them. That's just not, it's not polite. I don't know. Like, if you weren't griping about something, the other person would never know to feel whatever feelings you're making them feel. They would just be, like, doing their own shit or whatever. So, yeah, I try not to carry and pass along negative energy. I know that sounds hippie as fuck and whatever. I don't know. Being nice is cool, I guess. Mm. That's a little hard. Oh, we gotta work on finger placement. <laughs> oh shit. Levi says, finally caught alive. I want to have a steak eating contest. A steak eating contest. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like, their steak is pretty fucking good. And, yeah. Oh, actually, in the video that... Ooh, look at how close it is to being rendered. Uh, so, there's a part... The, the part where I do the steak eating challenge is in there. I didn't get footage from the actual steak eating thing but uh or the challenge or whatever it's floating around somewhere for um on like a canadian tv show unless they never added the part that i was in i don't really care whether they did or not but there is footage somewhere of it uh, i'm in the background while some guy is talking about food or something or maybe how disgusting americans are but uh yeah you do see what's left of the steak in this video. It's pretty great. And Satan gets to eat some too. That's her favorite part of the, the whole video. <laughs> Tammy says, people can't handle other people being straight up and having a strong personality. Yeah, I mean, if it's like, if if it's something that you're saying directly to a person and you're like, yo, I didn't like the way that you said this or that to me, that's productive for sure. I don't care how people feel about it. If they made me feel shitty, then I don't care if they feel shitty when I tell them about how they made me feel shitty. Like, that's, that's their problem. Um, but if you're, like, bitching to another party and whatever... Unless it's consensual, like, if you're like, yo, I want to vent about this stupid shit that I hate, and they're like, okay, then that's cool, but if you just, like, unload on people without really getting their consent to it or approval of it, you know, you don't know what kind of headspace they're in. They could be in a really bad headspace already, and then hearing you fucking hollering about a bunch of shit is going to make them in a worse headspace, and that's not nice. <sighs> Scott says we love you in Santa Fe, Corn. Hey, well, maybe I'll roll through, dude. That'd be fun to get to meet the man behind 
most of my soundtrack for my series. And also that gave me this guitar. I like Santa Fe a lot too, so it's, yeah. I don't want to plan my trip and have to like hold to <clears throat> a specific like uh, route or timeline or anything. Because that always, uh, that always stresses me out, but it, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I'm ha happening to pass through that way. <sighs> do you accept Zelle? Um, no, I don't, Deborah. but I do have a Venmo. There's a, a link in the description. Hey, Will, you're here. Ah, I'm going to relight that. Hello, Santo. This shit is just delightful. I gotta go... Gotta go mail the paintings after this live stream. Hmm... I hate going to the post office. I've been procrastinating it all weekend. I don't even know why. Like, going to the post office really isn't that bad. It's like calling and making appointments. You just get, like, a weird anxiety about it. I'm gonna cleanse myself of my post office anxiety. <laughs> and also the shit talking that I did earlier. Oh god, I'm gonna turn into a hippie now. We're fucked. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We're converting. <laughs> Good vibes only, man. Peace and love. I'm gonna start doing Grateful Dead covers. <laughs> if I start doing Grateful Dead covers and saying shit like good vibes only, like just kill me please. Cause there's obviously some kind of brain parasite that I've got going on. <clears throat> See it will. <laughs> back back up in the the lurking area. Weekend Warrior 126. Hey, welcome to your first live stream then. The library is doing good <clears throat> right now. I I think Zoe's actually maybe in chat lurking too. I do not know. But yeah, that's good. Library's still there. Kitties are good. Everybody's safe. There was a bit of a smear campaign and an ex member of our, I don't know, I don't want to say member, a person that lived at our place that was a fucking, um, tool bag. Like, I mean, I like social justice and shit, but they were like, somebody's gonna fucking get mad at me for saying this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Like, the fucking SJW fucking totally... PC, like, cucked PC fucking shit, and I don't know, I just distrust that <clears throat> inaccessible academic rhetoric because it alienates people that may not be as well versed in the ideas that they represent, so then I think that sociopaths use a lot of PC terminology to kind of control the way that people think about other people and yeah so they were one of those people and they created a website and dead named me on it and put a link to that stupid STP shit if you've been following for a long time you might know that I got canceled on a internet community that I used to represent <clears throat> and um 
So that's still up. It's still there. And every now and then somebody digs it back up and tries to spread it around again. So I'm used to that. Zoe's straight lurking. Library's great. Cats are fed. Books are dusted all as well. Oh, that's awesome. You're doing fucking awesome. Like, yeah. Fuck yeah. We do not deserve Zoe. <laughs> it's true. I don't deserve Zoe. I'm a piece of shit. And I'm enjoying... Yeah, I'm enjoying that. That's a lot of fun right now. <laughs> But uh, I do have to head back that way at some point before it gets too hot in the season because uh, obviously I left a few things out and not, you know, not put away like they should be because I kind of left in a hurry. And maybe I'll be able to help out with a couple of projects too, like pre-summer projects if you need an extra hand. Aww. So he says, everyone deserves me. I am like cake. Oh, damn. I want a Zoe cake. Good stuff. I should grab some more coffee. Do you guys mind if I step away for like two minutes to go and refill my coffee? And then, yeah. And then probably I'm going to fuck off pretty soon. I'm like really stoned and caffeinated. And I think I'm like crossfaded enough to maybe go to the post office now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wow, I don't know how I got so spoiled that uh, a little bit of rain and like 40 degrees is just like horrifying to me. I mean, I'm in sweatpants and a t-shirt right now. It's fine. I just saw a weather advisory for back where I grew up. And with the wind chill today, temperatures are going to be reaching negative 35 and there's just like, you know, they put out a warning about it because they have to, but you can get like permanent damage to your skin in within 10 minutes of exposure to temperatures like that. <laughs> so I'm like, that, that shit keeps me kind of humble. I'm not going to bitch about being cold while in Florida. That's... That's just poor form. Mm -hmm. Weekend Warrior 126 said, I had absolutely not idea, no idea, not at all in the scene, both in person and online. All I know is you managed to library in the desert, and I love that. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Well, you're welcome here, man. I don't care if you know who I am or not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm broke as a fucking joke, dude. Uh, maybe someday... Probably not. I'm I'm kind of I'm banking on the collapse of civilization rather than me getting rich in my lifetime. But hey, world's a crazy place. I'm not a fucking psychic or fortune teller. I do not know. But if you're watching my channel right now and you're more famous than me, you should like boost me, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> 
have me on your show or whatever. <clears throat> I do that too uh, for a lot of my friends too. Community is, I think community is cool. Love Light D says they have a self-service kiosk at the post office up the street. Makes it a little easier. Well, the thing is, I'm shipping paintings and they're canvas paintings. So I'm going to have to find some cardboard first. And now it's raining. So all the cardboard is going to be wet. But I got to find some way to reinforce the, the package so that the paintings don't get damaged in shipping. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I probably, I probably will have to ask at the desk for help or maybe what they recommend. Maybe they've got some sturdier packaging or something. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out when we get there. Weekend Warrior says, if somehow I become that, I absolutely will. Cool. Rock on. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Some, there, I know there's a couple of, like, way more famous YouTubers that are subscribed to my channel, so that's kind of neat. Um, it's, yeah, kind of cool. Mr. Beast was fucking subscribed to my channel for a, a second, and then... I think when I wasn't impressed or like freaking out about it that he lost interest. Or maybe he's still watching. Maybe you're still watching. I don't see why you would. Maybe, yeah, maybe you would be, who knows. I just don't, I'm, I'm really not interested in being like a mainstream kind of YouTuber like, like that. It's, I mean, I would be in an episode of somebody else's shit, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be that kind of a channel. I just can't. The, all the, the hard cuts and funny sound effects and gags, I just, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm too melancholy. <laughs> can't do it. I can't do TikTok challenges either. I'll watch them. I appreciate them. I'm not going to do them. Unless I'm doing them in like a sarcastic or like whatever. If I'm I would do them wrong on purpose if I was going to do a TikTok challenge. Oh yeah, I have a TikTok. I should probably do something with that. Yeah, probably should do something with that. Uh, H7O Polo says you are Mr. Beast's number one inspiration. <laughs> I hope so. I would love to know that <laughs> that Mr. Beast is secretly like a huge fan of mine. That would be fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> he was too scared to come into my house. Um, if you watch that video where he goes to Slab City. I actually fucking hated that video. I thought it was really rude. And, um, like, embarrassing for him. It was just, like, a really bad first impression for me of this person. So, like, I can only care about that individual so much. But, yeah, he was too afraid to go to the library. He was like, ooh, it looks scary and weird. And they just kept walking down the road. And then went on to pay an elderly woman to like dance for them and they were like super gross about it because like a lot of people in slabs are living in straight poverty so if you're gonna exploit their economic position for entertainment that's like really bad <laughs> that's uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's, yeah, maybe I'm wrong and that was somebody else's video, but I'm pretty sure that was the Mr. Beast video. Um, 
But I do remember that he was too afraid to go to the library. And I don't have much... I'm trying to be less mean. Got it. Mm. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I did the thing again. I'm not talking shit on Mr. Beast. That's not it. Nope. I don't know anything about the person. <sighs> Weekend Warrior said he went to Slab City. Yeah, Mr. Beast was in Slab City. Made a little little thing. It's honestly super embarrassing if you go watch it. <clears throat> it's why I'm here to be honest. Here you are smoking a bowl, melancholy, and drinking tea, speaking to a smattering of strangers. Oh, you totally, yep, you get it. You're here on the vibe, man. Shit, yeah. Satan, you're so cute. I wonder if I could do like a 24 hour Satan cam for like a fundraiser or some shit. Oh, I could do that on TikTok. It's like 100 all day. Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> I bet I could make a killing doing that. Oh, I could I could stream on what's something else? Some of those Reddit streamers get tons of views. That's wild. Yeah. Kale, I haven't been on Reddit very much. I kind of got into it while I was posting pictures of bandos that I was in. And they were pretty well received, so I was, I was happy about that. But I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to expand to another platform at some point. I'm just not sure which one I want to focus on. Maybe Twitch. I've been thinking about Twitch. I'm just kind of waiting to see. Hmm. <laughs> They have puppy cams with like 30,000 people watching. Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I read it's weird, dude. I try, I don't know. I just lost my, my taste for it pretty quick after first starting to use it. At first I was like, wow, Reddit is the shit. Why haven't I been using this? And then I just stopped using it. I don't even have it on this phone right now, I think. Hey, N.E. Barton, how's it going? All right, folks, I'm so fucking broke. If you want to fucking throw some money my way, I will play you a song. <laughs> We're going to do uh, a reverse boss game. I'm gonna say fuck you pay me and then I'll play something and then I'll fuck off. I'm holding you hostage. Actually that's weird though like why would you want to pay me to stop streaming if you're enjoying my stream though? That doesn't make sense. That's a terrible business model. Um... Okay well either way I'm gonna play a song and fuck off but if you want to donate to my PayPal or my Venmo or through Super Chat, that's okay, just not as good, then um, that would be great because, yeah, yep, that would be great. Because <laughs> uh, if you donate money to me, then I can afford some paints and keep painting, and then I can make really cool art. And then sell it to people for less than it's worth. And then I can make more money and eat food and buy more paint and then make more paintings. And uh, yeah, put gas in my car so I can make cooler videos so that you can watch them. Yeah, that's why you should give me money. I'm appealing to your sensibilities. <laughs> it 
Satan is so cute. Satan is a puppy. A do 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 do. Wake up! Why don't you put on a little makeup? Why don't you leave the on the table? He wanted to! You wanted to! <laughs> Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Deborah. Deborah asks, is Mr. Beast the guy you sat in the outside of the library? No, I didn't. I have never interviewed that guy. He is way too, way too cool for me. Um, <laughs> no. Satan, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. It's like, uh, got over a million subscribers. Like, well, you know. <laughs> like a really actually famous person I am like at this point maybe cult famous or infamous at best but together we can change that and it looks like Tom Tremaine says money in I don't know why I'm not getting a notification about it but I'm just gonna Take you at your word and say thank you very much and I appreciate it. Hell yeah. I'm so sorry that I'm not getting notified of who's donating to my PayPal and my Venmo. And yeah. Well, well, I'll fix that later. I gotta do some some channel maintenance too. Just organize some shit put things in folders so it's easier for you to find. Mm. Oh, thanks Weekend Warrior. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. This is the first time I've tried this. I've only paid for OnlyFans. Dear God, help me. I'm trying to help an artist. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Rushan says it's 27 in Colorado. Nice. Very nice. That's, that's definitely hoodie weather. Hmm. Oh, shit. I promised you to play it, that I'd play you a song. And I don't know which one I would play, even. Oh yeah, my shit's out of tune now. Cool. How does that happen? dramatic. Whoa. I don't know how that happened. That kind of sucks. What did I miss in chat here?
tune. Wow. I think I'm too stoned to tune my guitar right now. Happens to the best of us. Sorry guys, I cannot tune my guitar and my tuner is on my phone. Oh, hey. <clears throat> I wonder if this works. Hey, nice. Oh, this is actually a pretty decent tuner. Fuck you. This thing's like really touchy. Maybe I'm just really bad at tuning guitars. Alright. Oh hey, that's right on. Maybe both. Maybe a little both. It's touchy and I'm bad at tuning guitars. Hey Will, everybody's being pretty chill. I guess morning shows are kind of fun because people aren't so ornery and I guess it's too early for trolls. I don't think there's been like a single troll in here. Super weird. But also it's a smaller crowd, so I don't know. I mean, yeah. Kind of changing up and experimenting with new timing stuff because, yeah, whatever. Wow, why does that sound like shit? What the fuck is this detuning as I'm like playing? It? Oh. I'm. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong and I'm just like looking like a total idiot to an actual guitarist. And they're like, wow, what the fuck are you doing, Cornelius? Or, my guitar is fucking haunted, and I'm not crazy or bad at guitar. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe, maybe it's haunted. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to play you a song. Well, it's a good thing that... Oh, it looks like somebody kicked it down. Oh, holy shit. Deborah Gibson just kicked it down. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you, and I'm really sorry that I can't play you a song. And I don't know enough mandolin chords to play you another mandolin song. That's literally the only one that I know, and the only three chords that I actually know. So, uh, hmm. <laughs> sorry. Conspiracy theorist says it's not wrong if no one knows what you're doing. Well, I mean if you don't know what the fuck I'm doing, then yeah, it just I don't know. My guitar's haunted. That's the story and I'm sticking to it. Uh 
Oh, well. So after this, um, I'm probably gonna... Well, I know Crazy Uncle is maybe, maybe in the chat even, but apparently he lives around like Tallahassee. I'm heading through that way, so I might stop and say hi. I don't know. If I'm heading that way, I don't see why I wouldn't. And then, I don't know, heading west-ish with no f fucking particular time frame. Maybe go visit the colonel on my way through Texas. Go see some friends, do some cool shit. But I, I don't really know, I mean, I'm not drinking anymore, so I'm not doing the kind of stuff that I used to do as much. I mean, I'm open to it. If there's, like, something cool happening, then I'm not going to just, like, avoid doing something because I don't want to drink, you know. And I, I don't have a particular goal, like, if I drank a beer right now, I wouldn't be like, oh no, I fucked everything up, my my New Year's resolution, boo, like, whatever. I just don't really want to. Yeah, it's whatever. But anyway, so I'm trying to find, like, new things to do that aren't based around, like, hanging out in shitty bars all the time. Not like there's anything wrong with that. I fucking, I enjoy hanging out in shitty bars. The grosser, the better, honestly. I'm just kind of a scumfuck, so, yeah. You know, no judgment if that's your thing, but I'm not really doing that right now. Doing, trying to, like, I don't know, going to tea bars, getting a kombucha, <laughs> and uh, working on practicing my art and shit. That's kind of what I'm into right now. Oh, thanks, Justin, Mom. I'm just gonna call you Mom from now on. You're my, yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm just gonna call you Mom. <laughs> mom says she's proud of me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Some bar scenes are cool, Weekend Warrior says. Almost all catering to music. Yeah, that's what I like. Um, like, if there's open mics and shit, I'll fucking have a beer at a fucking open mic. I'm not worried about it. I'm not gonna, like, relapse and start drinking whiskey straight out of the bottle again. That's, <laughs> uh, that's not, yeah, I've not been wanting to do that. And that's the thing about it. You're not going to have success in changing your habits unless you actually want to. That's the important thing. If you're doing it because somebody else is, like, begging you to do it, then you're going to have disdain for it internally. And then, you know, probably be susceptible to relapse because you never really were in it. Ah, Excuse me. Oh, thanks, Will. Will's my pirate dad. Or maybe cool uncle. I'm not sure yet. Fucking A. Yeah, there's... I don't know. Well, Will's the cool pirate. Fucking captain in Discord. Everybody needs a captain. It's true. Mm hmm All right. I feel weird because I don't get to play a song um, for you. Mm. Yep, sorry. <laughs> but I gotta fuck off and go get this shit in the mail. So, um, please join us for the premiere this Friday night 
of the finale of the King Ratchet series. It's going to be fucking bomb. And if you hate it, then you can talk to me about it. And that's cool, too. But I think it's great. And I am excited for it. So I guess I'm going to go. And uh, thanks for joining me. We'll do it again sometime soon. And thanks so much to everybody that donated, especially Deborah. And oh, fuck. That's way up there. Other folks, you know who you are, and if you don't do my Venmo and I didn't shout you out, I'm really sorry, uh, but I will be very grateful once I see what you've done. Have a good evening, or, holy shit, it's not the evening, it's afternoon? Yeah, it's not, um, is it afternoon? Have a good afternoon, have a good noon, whatever. I don't know what times are. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Take care.